Russia has stepped up its assault on Ukraine, claiming it's shot down a military plane full of Western weapons near Odessa. The reports are yet to be verified, but if true, are likely Putin's revenge for the sinking of Moscow's prized warship. Across Ukraine, more civilians are dying as fighting escalates. President Volodymyr Zelensky is warning the world to brace for Russia to take the war nuclear. Europe correspondent John Paul Gonzo filed this report. Ukraine's second biggest city smashed by a fresh round of Russian shelling. At least one person died and 18 others were injured. The bloody aftermath of rocket strikes is familiar now, but still hard to fathom. In Kyiv, Russian troops may have retreated, but their missiles keep hitting hard. Their latest target, a missile factory. But the truth is that as far as uh, Kyiv is concerned, uh, we always have a threat of Russians coming back and trying to seize our capital. Another threat is that the war will turn nuclear. President Zelensky says the world needs to be prepared for Russia to use those weapons. By having medication and bomb shelters ready, these Ukrainians are fleeing, trying to find somewhere safe where that isn't needed. A mother and her young daughter among those waiting for a way out. Those who have escaped into neighbouring countries know they are the lucky ones. They plan to, to fight. They plan to kill us as Mariupol, as Bucha, as, as Hostomel. The latest attacks spread across the country appear to be Russian revenge after Ukraine sunk the Moskva warship. Sailors from the vessel have been seen for the first time. The Russian Defence Ministry says this is just a few of the 500 crew members that supposedly survived the missile strike. That ship was the symbol of our domination in the Mediterranean, this retired Russian Navy captain said. It is now a trophy of Ukrainian resistance. It is clear the West is getting under Vladimir Putin's skin. Boris Johnson, like Joe Biden, has now been banned from entering Russia, accused of deliberately aggravating the situation around Ukraine and providing lethal aid. A symbolic move at best, with the UK vowing to continue sending support. John Paul Gonzo for 10 News First, London.